Now our deep front line is inside, so I'm not going to necessarily use this so much with the band, but we have muscles that come up and behind the shin. So they start under the foot, they come up behind the shin, behind the knee, inner thighs, the short adductor inner thigh muscles, psoas and iliacus that sit within the pelvis. It then comes up through the diaphragm, through your pericardium and the center of your chest. And then it comes up here and towards your tongue and your suprahyoids. If you want to see the front line in play really well, then have a look at my video that's called Foot to Core Sequencing. So you can see how when you tension the front line through your feet, it can create some tension in your inner thighs, the floor of your pelvis, diaphragm, and then if you add your tongue connection on at the top, you've got stability through that whole train of fascia. All right, we're finally coming to our two arm lines. So we have a front arm line. Now again, this runs pretty much from pec major, pec minor, through biceps, brachii, and then we're looking at the thinner side of the body, which is our thumb side of the arm. So that's our flexion and radial side of the arm. And if you just spin around for me. Then we have the extensor side of the arm. So we've got rhomboids here, deltoid, triceps. And then that's running down more to the ulnar side of the body, which is the little finger side of the body. So again, that is another long chain of muscles running here at the back of the arm. Now, this comes into play quite nicely, and we'll just do this together. So if you come onto your hands and knees, big wide hands here, and if you just press your thumb down into the ground and see if you can feel the muscles track up your forearm, your inner arm and into your chest muscles. You feel that? Yeah. And then relax and then we're going to press our little finger and fourth finger down. See if you can feel that track up to your triceps and really gather around your rotator cuff and deltoid at the back of the shoulder. You feel that? Yeah, yeah so that's muscles connecting together in a long train to create stability through the body. It's called your hydraulic amplifier effect. When a muscle contracts, the fascia gets a little tighter and more robust. And that forms part of your fascial strength, just one of the many areas of strength training. So when we look at these different anatomy trains, we can use it from a point of gaining more flexibility so working anywhere along the train will have an effect on all the other areas. We can also look at it in relation to creating more robust and strong tissue. So again, as mentioned, how it is you use your hands on the floor, how it is you use your feet on the floor. This hand thing even comes into play. Let's say you're doing a lat pull down or a double arm pull. If you have more focus on fingers five and four, it will create more fascial connection with your extensor arm line and chain into the lats. I hope this is interesting, but it's not going to be as interesting as actually reading the Anatomy Trains book yourself. I hope you can apply this into your training, flexibility and strength work. Bye for now.